Hi everyone, Miss Mortimer here and it's Wind Band Wednesday or Wind Group Wednesday and here is your weekly warm-up. Okay, we're going to start with some clapping echoes. Me first, then you. One, two, three, four. So today's going to be a bit different. I'm going to give you some building blocks or some ingredients if you like and you guys can have a go at making up your own tune using them. So you're going to do the work today. You're going to make the um, metaphorical cake. So here are four rhythms that you can use in your tune. Let's clap and play them. Here's the first one. It goes. Your go. And now let's play them on our instruments. Choose any note you like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> rhythms. Okay and to help us choose which notes we're going to use in our tunes we're going to use the same structure as last week that 12 bar blues. So I've put the order of the notes up on the screen and um, we often use Roman numerals to show what chords we're using but if you're not familiar with Roman numerals just look at the numbers. So you can see we've got four bars where we just use chord one. Then we have two bars where we use chord four and then another two bars of chord one. Then just one bar where we use chord number five, one bar where we use chord number four, and then another two of chord number one. Okay, so let's listen again to that 12 bar blues and follow through the chord changes on the screen. One, two, three, four. Chord one. you're with me so far. Now to make up my tune what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of our rhythm building blocks every bar and when we're on chord number one I'm going to use note number one of the scale. When we're on chord number four I'm going to use note number four of the scale and when we're on chord number five I'm going to use note number five. So for example my first bar we're on note number one which clarinets is C and I'm going to use the first rhythm. So my first bar is going to look like this. And then I've got three more bars using note number one to fill. Then I'm going to go up to note number four. And I think for note number four, I'm going to use the second rhythm. I'm going to repeat it twice. And then we go back to note number one. So I'm going to fill out the rest of my melody and then show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's my tune that I've written. You can see I've put the chord structure above and then these are the notes I've used. So, 
I went for pattern number one and pattern number three, and then I repeated that, pattern number one and pattern number three, all using note number one. Then I've gone up to note number four, and I've used our second building block rhythm. I used that twice. And then I went back and I used the same rhythms that I'd used at the start, because we often like a bit of repetition in our tunes. Then for a bit of contrast, when I go up to chord number five, I've gone for our last rhythm, that should say chord number four, because I've gone down to note number four, and then again the same two building block rhythms on note number one. So here's how that sounds. <laughs> that keep getting repeated on our, on my C have become like almost a little hook. They're a really repetitive element of the melody, which we often get in um, in a lot of tunes that we play. Um, now what I'm going to do, I've stuck so far to using notes one, notes four, and one bar of note five. But now I'm going to mix it up a little bit. When we've got chord number one, I can use notes one or two. So I'm going to change a couple of these to Ds. And it'll just create a little bit more variety in the melody. When I'm on chord number four, I'm going to say that I can use notes four or notes five. So I'm going to change that one to note five for me. This is all for clarinets, but if you play another instrument, you can work out what your notes ones four and five are. Okay, and then again, on chord number one, I can use notes one or two. Chord number five, I can use notes five or six. I'm just going to throw in a note six there. Same pattern there, I can use four or five now. And back to one. So now my tune will sound like this. to it now that we're using a few more notes. It's up to you. If you want to stick with notes one, four and five, that's fine. If you want to experiment with using that note and the note above it, go for that as well. Okay, so over to you. Just follow the same process. Work out your notes one, four and five. Then decide which of the rhythmic building blocks you want to fit your notes to. And then if you want a bit more variety in the melody, you can use your chord notes and the notes above them. Um, happy composing. And remember, if you want me to have a look at it, um, just ask your parents or carers to email it to me. Enjoy and see you next week. And just to finish off the video, here is the 12 Bar Blues backing track so that you can play your composition along with it. One, two, three, four.